Hello and welcome to my channel, Cheap Astro. I'm Nugsy. So, I'm not very experienced in astrophotography. I've spent more time fiddling with stuff, fixing stuff, and preparing for astrophotography than I've spent actually doing astrophotography. And that, I think, is the gap in the market that I'm trying to uh, fill here. So if you're the sort that isn't afraid to whip out a toolkit to save yourself a few quid, you might want to take a look through my videos. Now, I just need to overcome my fear of appearing on camera. Hello, I'm Nugsy. Pleased to meet you. After all this time. Yes, I've done my first year without appearing on camera and it's been great. But it is hard work trying to fill my talking with images and videos I've got a source from somewhere so I think this will make life easier for me in future with some of my videos and with a channel update why not introduce myself it's been a year Cheap Astro is a whole year old and um, thanks to you lot and I mean like loads of thanks to you lot I was asking in the initial video for subscribers and just to get the channel off the ground and after a year I'm at well 1650 odd subscribers which I think is brilliant for such a small channel it's a niche within a niche if you're, if you're being honest about it it's never going to be huge but for that much in one year I am deeply thankful to everyone watching only 8% of which subscribe, by the way. So yeah, it's been a brilliant first year. I couldn't hope for any better. In this first year, I've also become monetized. And if you've seen any of my videos in the past, you know I could do with it. Uh, well, I see YouTube is gonna put these ads in anyway. So why shouldn't I get a slice of the pie? Now, I do want to talk to you actually about monetization because there was another option open to me before ad revenue came up and that was to monetize you lot. Now I don't want to be doing that. That's not what I'm about. I'm about saving people money, not begging for it. Um, so I could have used things like channel subscriptions. I don't see what I could offer in channel subscriptions. You get your name in pretty lights underneath in the comments and that, but I don't see it's worth it for you. So I've not put it up. Uh, but if you can think of some something I can offer for that type of thing, for the memberships, I'd be happy to run with it. But as I don't feel I've anything to offer at the minute, I've not put it up. But please do let me know if you have any ideas on that. I would like to make some money out of this. At the moment, I haven't got a penny out of it because there's a threshold you have to reach before they even pay you. And it's coming in real drips and drabs. Um, but all I'm looking at really is not to support myself. I'm not being unrealistic about this. I'm looking to occasionally be able to dip into it and buy something for this lot. Um, the one thing I have opened up but I'm never gonna request that people use it in any videos is I've just put a thanks button down there because I'd be stupid not to really I see people giving those all over the place on YouTube um, I'm not stupid enough to turn down anything that people do want to donate but not gonna be asking for it it's not not my thing ad revenue is where I'm at so the biggest way you lot could continue helping in the future is just to watch as you have been subscribe get 50 mates to subscribe as well get myself one of those play buttons up on the wall <laughs> 100 mates I don't know loads anyway yeah that sort of came and went opportunity to monetize you lot not not doing it and on that front as I said already you, you've been brilliant so thank you all those uh, 
likes and comments and watch hours all really help in the channel the more of that there is the more my videos get out to other people as well so that's definitely the best way to help so thank you for your future interest now to keep that future interest I've got to keep this channel going and I do have some ideas of things to do I have recently done this my observatory sorry about the clicking in the background by the way that's my DSLR clicking away at M13 there Oh, there's a big spiking guide in there. Dithering? Possibly. Anyway. Yeah, I'll be able to do my DIY projects here. I've got the scope on the pier out there that I can film myself doing things with. And I can capture on the PC now. So I may sort of go through like a night's imaging, that sort of thing. Um, nothing really is out of bounds for me except non-budget gear all right so you're not gonna find me using your latest triplets and quadruplets that cost thousands harmonic wave mounts strain wave mounts whatever they're called it's not gonna happen for me simple as that um, my gear is budget as I have shown on my channel before I use a reflector because it's cheaper than a refractor in that you need an apple apple apple, apple chromatic <laughs> refractor which just costs through the roof um, I haven't even got a coma corrector for it so a lot of that's gonna be cropped I'm doing things on a budget and I always will for the most part I use free programs as well and I've got to tell you now, there's only two I pay for. That is SharpCat Pro because of its excellent polar alignment routine and planetary imaging as well. But that comes with the free version. And this, which is Astral Photography Tool, recommend it to anyone, especially if you're DSLR imaging, because it has the drivers already integrated into the program and it's ready to go. It's guiding at the minute, it's hooked up with Stellarium the works and it was like 18 euros for that so I don't see that as a big hardship. But you're not going to catch me buying Pix Insight for 300 quid. Um, yes, as I said, I will continue in that vein, doing all the budget stuff. Um, reviews, I'm not really able to review much because anything I do buy is like years old reviewed to death I'm just too late to that simple fact um, if people were to start sending me things to review I might well consider that um, but only if it works like if say this versus my budget gear in that scenario I could do it I may do tutorials I might do just general overview videos as I've done with various subjects we'll see what comes but I'm gonna try and keep the videos coming that's for sure because um, this first year has looked very promising so once again I gotta thank you all I wouldn't have gone through all this trouble had it not been for this channel spurring me on to go further and further um, I started it just to show off a couple of things I'd done and it just sort of snowballed from there really So once again nice to have met you Thanks for watching. Thanks for your continued support and um, I'll see you in my next video